Now, how this machine works is the engine blower basically sucks air and blows it through this four inch hose up to the bottom of the concentrator box. One of the unique features and one of the neat things that we have is a patent on a hot air system which takes all the heat from around the head of the engine and around the exhaust area but not the exhaust itself it vacuums all that hot air into this cowling the heat shroud we call it and then it gets diverted down into the intake of the blower now this blower probably puts out about 450 cubic feet per minute that's quite a lot of air most of your leaf blowers don't have that kind of capability but with 4.5 horsepower believe me it's plenty let's take a look at the unit and I'll kind of show you how it works as the hot air comes up through the bottom port underneath the box the air passes through a fan why don't you come a little closer and let's take a look at the fan as the air comes up through the bottom of the box there's about a, a five inch diameter aluminum fan and a bearing assembly which has a counterweight which comes out the side when this counterweight is moving around from the air powering the fan it creates a pretty strong vibration now by adjusting this weight right here in and out we can control it to be more of a high frequency or a low frequency vibration the weight we have it set right now is probably the best setting but for every area you're going to have small variances and adjustments to make on the unit in order to get the maximum recovery you notice how it's constructed it's all a cross-link polypropylene we like the gray color because we can't be seen when we're up in the hills we don't want to uh, attract any attention there's also a foam lining al along the edge of the box on the inside which allows an airtight seal for your concentrator tray to slide up inside of it so let's just put it together here slide this up tuck it under underneath the lip up at the head here and then clamp down the box and there's a neat little clamp now there's also a little plug right here and this plug is basically just an area to get into the box where a lot of ultra fine sand and gold can possibly work its way into the box and at the end of the day we drain this out into a pan and pan it out sometimes you find some uh, pretty fine gold in there but when this box is working and we're going to show you an actual demonstration how it works when it's working the air is coming up through the box it's creating an air cushion also along with the vibration that the box is creating it creates a suspension of the material so it's similar to like if the material were running with water but we're dealing with a completely dry uh, type of material now with the hot air it enables you to work slightly damp material if it's real wet sometimes you have to run your material twice but with this machine most of the time it will dry it out sometimes you just need to slow down the feed so what we do is once this thing's hooked up and running we basically shovel the material into this half inch classification as the material loads up and accumulates in this portion of the hopper you notice there's a pretty deep V at the bottom also down here there's an adjustable gate and you have two wing bolts and you can tighten or loosen this and adjust the slide to open or close the opening so you can regulate your feed of material that goes into it now as the material dumps down into the concentrator box it falls down here and then starts traveling across it's pretty amazing what vibration and what the air uplifting to create that little air cushion but there's something else that works to our advantage this is one of the few machines 
that isn't actually grounded to the ground by all metal parts. It's being suspended and isolated by plastic, which allows this machine to create an electrostatic charge. Now what I mean by an electrostatic charge is kind of like when you're walking along carpet and you start to build up a spark. Well, electrostatic charge actually works like a magnet to the gold. And when you put your arm near here when it's running, you can actually watch all your hair stand up on end as the magnetism or the electrostatic charge is actually drawing it to the box. Well, the fine gold particles which dump down and get concentrated throughout the tray, the fine gold particles do get um, an electrostatic charge which allows it to stick to the, the cloth that we have in here. The cloth that we use is a very special type of cloth that's made out of polyester and rayon and there's a nylon board underneath there so when that air is pumping up through the bottom of it and the hot air passes that plastic it creates quite a charge. In fact you can get a little zap from the box once in a while. Um, at this point I think we're almost ready to uh, fold it back down. I'll kind of show you how we take it apart real quick and then we're going to load it up on the quad and we're going to go check out some spots. Uh, kind of go over some of the operation once you can see the actual material going through it. And thank you very much. One of the unique features about this machine is breaking it down to make it as compact as possible. So we're going to pull apart the machine real quick just to show you. First thing that you would do is you would disconnect your 4-inch hose that's down here from the bottom of the concentrator tray. Then to eliminate or to remove the concentrator tray, we take the chain off the hook, allow that to drop down to the ground, and we simply just undo these little clips right here. Now we can take the concentrator box off the machine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the hopper and we're going to flip it upside down like so. And now what we can do is push the button, slide it just a touch, and we go to the other side. One, and that's two, and we got a couple of holes to go through. Okay, that should do it. Oh, one more adjustment. Okay, now we take the legs and fold it back like so, which makes for a real compact machine. Now when we're transporting the machine, we flip it back this side, and sometimes it helps you use a bungee cord to help tie it together. Then your concentrator box fits inside of the hopper, just like so, and it's made so it drops right in here. Now the uh, hose here can actually fit right around the top here, and if you take a couple of bungees, you can tie this all up into a real small package. Now we're going to load it in the quad for a few minutes, take it to one of the spots that we've been checking out, and uh, we'll get back to you soon.